understand why people put damn stickers that don't come off on books. I think that's why it was a scratch and dent because there's honestly nothing wrong with it, but it had a green sticker on top and then the red sticker on the bottom, and the red sticker ain't coming off. So. <laughs> And today I'm here with a book haul. I went to the book outlet store and also my local thrift store and I got a total of eight books. So I figured I would show you guys what I picked up. So without further ado, let us get started. <sighs> to begin with, I will talk about the four books that I got from my local thrift store. I got two books from the same series. The first is The Program and the second is The Treatment. I honestly don't know that much about this trilogy. Other than that suicide is now an epidemic among teenagers and if you attempt it you'll be put into this program as the only treatment. I'm probably very wrong but I have heard that it's a good trilogy so the two books were there for only like a dollar ninety five each so I snatched them up. The next book I got was Kin and this is by Lily St. Crow and this is a horror retelling of The Little Red Riding Hood and you know your girl loves fairy tale retellings and horror so I thought that this might be a pretty interesting combination, so I'm excited to read it. And then the final book that I got at the thrift store is called You Against Me, and this is by Jenny Downham, and it's about a brother and sister. The sister says that a guy assaulted her, and then her brother ends up doing something that lands him in juvie because of it. And I'm assuming that he probably, like, beat the guy up or something, but I'm excited to see what it actually is because I'm kind of hoping that he turned into a killer because I'm weird like that. And then the next four books I got from Book Outlet because my mother and I went on a little road trip. They're all pretty popular books except for one that you guys probably have not heard of because I read the first book. Anyways, the sequel that I got was Deep Betrayal. This is by Anne Greenwood Brown. The first book, Lies Beneath, is about mermaids. I really liked the first book so I figured the second book was on sale for four dollars so they might as well pick it up. The next book I picked up was Call Me by My Name by John Ed Bradley. The only reason I picked this up is because everybody and their mother has been talking about this book and the peach scene. I don't even know what the peach scene is, but I want to know, so I picked it up. And it's also blurbed by Lori Hall Sanderson, who is one of my favorite authors. That was another reason why, but I just want to know about the damn peach scene, man. I just want to know. I feel like I'm going to be scarred, though, because a lot of people say that they're scarred afterwards, but... You know, I like to do these things to myself. The next book I have is The Heart of Betrayal, and this is by Mary E. Pearson. This is the second book in the Kiss of Deception trilogy, but it was only for $3. I don't even own the first book, but I was like, I can get that at chapters. And if I have the second book for only $3, this is much better than full price. The logic of Jan doesn't 100% make sense most of the time, but that was my reasoning behind this purchase. And then the final book that I picked up is The Shadow Queen by CJ Redwine, and this was on my most anticipated releases video, like, whenever it came out, like, a year ago. It's a fairy tale retelling of Snow White and the Evil Queen. It might just be the Evil Queen, not 100% sure. All I know is that it is a fairy tale retelling, and your girl is hecka into those, so we had to buy it. Alright guys, so that is my little book haul of The Book Outlet and my local thrift store. Let me know down below if you guys have read any of these books, what you thought of them, and I'll see you all in my next video. Goodbye!